I, I wrote a piece earlier this week for Coin Brief uh, talking about the ethics of Bitcoin journalists owning Bitcoin, uh, meaning, you know, they're news writers or producers who talk about and cover Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, but at the same time they own Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. And there's this author uh, who is an editor at Upstart Business Journal, and uh, he also wrote an article for LinkedIn. And um, I, I took him to task for that article in which he said that, uh, you know, pe people who own Bitcoin and cover it are, you know, have a conflict of interest and that they're inherently biased towards Bitcoin and, you know, you, you, you can't necessarily trust them because uh, they're in favor of, I, I, like, you can't trust their news writing because they won't portray things as they actually are because they, they own Bitcoin. Um, and, you know, that's, it's not necessarily true. Uh, <laughs> especially since Bitcoin, he's, he views Bitcoin too much as, as property or as like a stock that, that people are invested in, you know, that people want get, to get rich off of. But Bitcoin journalists, especially those who get paid in Bitcoin, like us, for CoinBrief, um, it's just a form of money. It's just no another form of money that you get paid for your work in. So, like, it's not like... If, if I were to, like, change my reporting, like, uh, ethos around Bitcoin and purposely, like, you know, started trying to pump Bitcoin with every single article, trying to make it look good, trying to get people to buy it, you know... Um, like, first of all, my credibility is going to go way down because people are going to be able to tell that I'm just pumping Bitcoin all the time. And that's not to say that none of my articles pump Bitcoin. Um, some, some do kind of do that, uh, ty uh, you know, incidentally, like my Lighthouse article, I talked about my current Lighthouse can massively improve Bitcoin. Um, but that's just a fact. I, talk, I like to talk about stuff that can improve the system. That's not necessarily wanting, pe you know, encouraging people to buy it. And even if other people did buy Bitcoin because they read my story, um, oh, whoop de do that might make that might make the pre the price go up by like twenty five cents based on a couple readers who decided to buy Bitcoin. And uh, I don't own that much Bitcoin. I will disclose that obviously I own some of it because I get paid in it. But uh, I'm not going to get rich anytime soon off Bitcoin. And if I were to change, um, you know, how I report on stories and just pump Bitcoin all the time. Um, I would lose readership a lot. Um, you know, peop, uh, our editor probably wouldn't be that happy if all I'm doing is pumping Bitcoin because um, it, it, it debases your credibility a bit. So, like, the, the notion that people who own Bitcoin and cover it are, you know, going to be untrustworthy, uh, it's, it's, it's based on an old school fear about, you know, about old school journalism you know, journalists who, like, might own a ton of, you know, a ton of NASDAQ stock in a, per in a particular company and would only favor that company over all other competitors. But it's, it's not the same dynamics as that anymore. This is, this is an entirely new economy, and you can't, like, just base people's biases off of the particular form of payment they get, you know? I like John Matonis's comment on the this whole situation because it's... Um, I had the same. I had the same thought. Like as soon as I started reading your article, and he and he says, um, it's like saying people who write about um, United States dollars and monetary policy shouldn't own dollars. You know, that's that's what yeah. I immediately. That's what immediately came into my head as soon as I started reading this article because that is that's all Bitcoin is. It's just a currency. Um, obviously, um, obviously, it's still you know pretty tightly linked to uh, USD. So we're going to benefit if the price of Bitcoin does go up, obviously. But like you said, um, there is no single Bitcoin journalist that is influential enough to produce a significant increase in the Bitcoin price. Yeah. So there's just, there's just no incentive there um, to do it because, you know, at, at most you would get like a fraction of a dollar, um, mm -hmm. which I know for me, it, it would take way more than that for me to sell my Bitcoins. So, um, yeah, and most of the things um, on Coinbrief specifically, um, 
most of the things we write about don't even have to do with with um, pumping the Bitcoin price. Like I do price analysis sometimes where I uh, try to you know figure out why why the price is moving the way it is, if there's any news events events related to it, and where it might go in the future. Um, and I also have started doing a weekly uh, a market report series where I just talk about uh, what the price did throughout the course of a week. Um, and, you know, there's not really anything I could do there to pump the price because um, I'm just reporting on things that have already happened. So I, I don't I just don't understand where this guy gets this idea that um, Bitcoin journalists shouldn't own Bitcoin. Like, should we do should we do it for free and be broke all the time? <laughs> like, yeah. you know. Um, for a lot, for a lot of Bitcoin journalists, like Bitcoin is their main source of income, because um, depending on how hard you work at it, you can make pretty decent money at it. Oh yeah, so, tons of freelance work to be done out there. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's just it's really just a ridiculous notion that um, that you can't own Bitcoin if you write about it. Like, you know, so economists whose job it is to is to write about um, dollars and and how they affect the economy should they just um, not use dollars. If they're, if they're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they're if they're American, they write about USD. Should they get paid in the euros or, or vice versa? Yeah, it's just. I know. Yeah, it's, it's just a ridiculous idea. Yeah, I, it's just I, a monetary system. Kind of, yeah, I thought it was kind of funny that he said that. Yeah, um, yeah. I I think that my article um, pretty much you know destroys that argument pretty pretty well, and with with some help from John Matonis as well. Um, it's just a money system. It's just a form of money. It's not a stock. It's not, you know, it's not people who view it as an investment to begin with uh, are kind of mistaken because you're not guaranteed to make money off it. The price is not guaranteed to go up. Um, it's it's just a new form of money that's based on a new form of technology that was created by Satoshi Nakamoto five years ago. So um, that's what I'm biased in favor of. I'm biased in favor of the, sec of the technology the underlying technology. Um, and it's not even, it's not unique to Bitcoin either. Hundreds of other cryptocurrencies have been built, which are, you know, minor variations of, on Bitcoin and, and potentially use different, you know, different uh, algorithms for maintaining the network and stuff like that. But the, the underlying innovation itself, that's, yeah, I am biased and I want to see that succeed. I want to, um, I, I want to see it change the world. So I guess you could say that like I'm <laughs> I am biased in favor of innovation and uh and, and change. But that's that's what that author should be biased in favor of as well, since you know, he's the tech and innovation editor of that website. So you know, that's that's what we're all working towards. We're all here because of the fundamental innovation that happened five years ago. And w without that, um none of us would even be doing this right now con concerning Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Maybe we'd be doing a podcast about a different topic, like economics or politics. Um, so yeah, the, the inherent bias towards the technology is there, but the idea that we're going to change what our content is and what kind of stories we cover to try and pump the price, that's just naive, and anyone who actually tries to do that is not spending their time wisely. They're not, you know, they don't have the right goals in mind. And uh, it's it's not going to work for them. So, yeah, um, it's just a money system, basically. Yeah, there's there is not enough. There's not nearly enough incentive for me to um, deliberately cut down on the quality of my articles to try and manipulate the price. It's just, it's impossible to do. Like <laughs> you know, I know. I just write it. I I write about Bitcoin, and you know, maybe a couple thousand people read it. You know, like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna probably a couple market. thousand people who already own Bitcoin. You know, I, yeah. like, these people yeah. don't understand that our readership also already owns these cryptocurrencies in the majority of cases. In the majority of cases, so like, <laughs> none of our articles are gonna convince you know new adopters to suddenly go out and buy like, uh, you know, five hundred dollars, you know, like a whole Bitcoin, you know, just based on one article. I highly, highly doubt that's gonna happen.